Yo, what is up everybody? Cash Bank Gaming here, and today I will be showing you how to get into the Pacific Standard Bank Vault. Now, if you don't know where the Pacific Standard Bank is, it's right here next to Movie Theater uh, 2 out of 3, uh, North LS, right by the casino. And yeah, so when you first come, you're just going to walk through these doors right here. And then you want to go... Uh, in the, there where the bank tellers are. Now there's two ways you could do this. Oh, I'm sorry, by the way, you are going to have to own a up and atomizer for this to be as easy as possible. Or just like or just like sticky bombs. So the first option you could do you could use the up and atomizer to launch yourself over or you could go over here right almost where the entrance is and then just walk up here go up the stairs and then you'll be up here on the second floor and then you just want to keep going sorry about the echo by the way you want to go through this this door there's a couple of offices here you just want to go through this door then down here and then bam you are down where the bank tellers are and then right here is the actual vault itself and uh, right here is the actual vault itself and as you can see I can't I can't get through it. I'll use my atomizer I, I just can't get through it you can see it's locked and I can't like glitch myself through it can't up and atomize it myself through it and yeah so then you want to go to you want to register as a CEO if you can Then once you have the CEO up, you want to hold interaction menu, CEO, or Secret Surf CEO. You want to go down to VIP work. And then you want to start up the job headhunter. Just wait for that to start. And then once you have that started, you want to come right here to the bank and you want to post up against it by holding R1. Nope. Just like this, you want to wait a couple of seconds, and then you want to go to your phone, go to job list, and then you want to start any contact job. I just, it, you could be by Simeon, uh, Martin, Gerald. I'm just going to use the one by Gerald because obviously, as you can see, I only have Gerald. So I'm just going to start this one. And when you get into the option screen, you want to instantly back out. Now, there might be other people in there, which is why you got to be quick with it before they start it. Because if, if they start it, you're going to have to try and do this glitch again. Or not really try, because it's, it's super easy to do. And it's great for, like, role plays and stuff. So, I'm loading in right now. As you can see, there is other people. So, I'm just going to wait till I can back out. Quit. Okay, so I just quit the job right now. Just wait for this to load. Then, as you can see, I am behind the uh, gate or bars, door, whatever you want to call it, leading into the vault. So once you're at this position, you just want to walk down these stairs right here. And then you can see the vault right here, the statue. Just It's basically like everything that's in the actual Pacific Standard Heights. You have little security cameras right there. And then this is where you are going to need the up and atomizer or bombs. So once you have the up and atomizer or bombs, you want to place the bombs in this corner right here, right next to CCTV just right in that corner and for the up and atomizer you just want to shoot that corner so three two one bam you have the vault open then you just want to walk through this door and then walk through this door and there you are you are now in the vault sadly you can't take anything in here but that's okay because like i said this is really only used for like role plays and stuff and yeah and if you guys are wondering how to get out uh you just want to hold interaction menu. Oh yeah, and l let me show you how it would work with bombs. Sorry, I'm just gonna close this real quick. It's super, it's super lightweight for a vault door. So let me just show you right now. 
just gonna buy a sticky bomb right here I'm gonna throw it right in this corner you want to stand back then you want to press left on d-pad to detonate it just like that I recommend doing that because it's more realistic than a ray gun but yeah and to get out of here I'm pretty sure I haven't tested getting out of here yet that just shows that just goes to show how unprofessional I am but as I'm guessing you just want to kill yourself so you could either go to the interaction menu and kill yourself or you could use like a rocket launcher and stuff I'm just gonna use a rocket launcher There you go, and now you are out of the bank. Uh, you spawn right down the street from, yeah, you spawn right down the street from the bank, so. It's uh, right over there. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.